Hey guys, it's Chris again. Um, I am coming to you today with a D stash. I have wax on my lip. <laughs> God, I have wax everywhere. Um, a D stash that I purchased from the lovely Tara. Oh my God, I love Tara. I have to meet her someday, like soon. She lives in the same state as me and only like 25 minutes away. So it has to happen. Has to, has to, has to. But. Um, so I ordered this detach from Tara. I think this was mostly um, Kay's Creations, and I think she threw some extras in there for my weight um, because I waited. I didn't wait long at all, so it really wasn't necessary. But I love you, Tara. Oh. Um. So this was from Kay's Creations. What was funny is I had asked her about this stash because I didn't have any Kay's Creations at all. And then Case Creations website had, or their Facebook group had a catch em sale where you could randomly put like me, 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 or whatever, and then they randomly choose you. And I won, you know, quite a bit. I, I mean, not a ton, but, you know, I'd say maybe a dozen or whatever. So I had never tried them before. So anyway, um, so I will show you what I got from Kay's in one second. <laughs> um, I'm just looking up the scent list. Although I'm not 100% sure that um, Kay's is 100% natural soy, um, for those of you that don't know. And scent descriptions right here. So hopefully they're on here. I don't know. This, she says she'll email you a requested send, or if you like a requested, if you would like a request to request a send that you don't see listed, please email us. We're happy to try and locate it for you. Um, okay, so she goes in alphabetical order. Anyway, so the first one that I got from Tara was in a scallop in chocolate syrup. And I love anything chocolate. And I did smell this before. Oh, this is really good. Good. Because I had smelled this in the Ketchum sale items that I got. But I think those were like freshly poured. So this smells like it's cured some more. This is nice. This is a chocolate. Um, it's definitely a syrup. It's it's not like... Um, I don't want to say it smells artificial. Like an artificial chocolate. It's hard to describe. But it's definitely like a chocolate syrup like that you would pour into your chocolate milk or whatever. Oh, it's really good though. I love chocolate. Um, let me see if there's a scent description on this. Let's see. No. I think this is a tester scent, to be honest with you. Because I did receive one of these and Kathy, who is the owner... It said, make sure everybody knows, like, if you do a video, that they're tester scents. So I don't think I don't think all of them are tester scents, but I'm not 100 percent sure. So these are scents that some of these are scents that are not necessarily going to be up on the website. We don't know yet. But she's just testing out her oils. This is really nice. I do, I do. I like this chocolate. Mm. It's a very sweet chocolate kind of smell. This is in. Chewy Caramel Apple, and this is described as back by popular demand, the aroma of a big, rit, red, juicy apple dipped in warm, buttery caramel. Absolutely scrumptious. And this is nice. I'm not a huge caramel apple person. I'm going to be honest. Well, I'm not a huge apple person, and caramel apple usually has a lot of apple smell in it. But I also have not actually melted. I don't think I've actually melted apple yet. So maybe on warm, it'll smell. I mean, it smells nice. You can definitely catch the caramel in this. Um, but maybe on warm, it'll smell. Usually on warm, they smell different. So uh, maybe I will become an apple fan. Who knows? I'm not, I'm not not a fan. I'm just, it's one of those that, you know, I'm like, yeah, okay. This one is... Loopy Coconut Cookie Bread. Now, this sounds amazing to me. I don't know what this consists of. Let's see. Um, 
uh, oh, I missed the L's. Loopy coconut cookie, coconut cookie bread is a sweet blend of cookies, fruit delicious with hints of coconut. So like a fruity cookie. This is nice, but you know what it reminds me of? It's Fruit Loops. I'm not catching a lot of cookie, and I'm not catching coconut at all. Coconut's hard. Co uh, I say this in every video. It's so hard. I love coconut, but it's really hard to catch the coconut. Um, this mostly I'm catching the smell of Fruit Loops. Oh, but it smells really good. But it's not. You know what? I think the the cookie bread part um, tones down the Fruit Loop a little bit, so it's not super sickeningly sweet. A lot of Fruit Loops are. I love them, but a lot of them are really, really sweet. Um, this is in, this is just a little flower. The rest of them are scallops. This is a flower. Um, I think these are less than an ounce. This is in Orange Sunshine. And Orange Sunshine is, I'm going the wrong way. Mm -mm -mm. Orange Sunshine. Oh, s freshly squeezed orange juice. Okay. I, I might have gotten one of these before too. I don't know. Um. Okay. I I don't know about this one. I mean, I like it, and I'm sure when I melt it, like I said, I haven't melted any cage yet. I've been really busy with testing, so it's been hard. Um, fresh squeezed orange juice. I kind of expected more punch to this. More more. It's kind of light on cold, but I love orange scents. Um, but orange juice, I would kind of expect more of a sweet orange, like, but for it to be stronger. But like I said, we'll see. Um, next is oh god, she sent me one of these. I love this. This is my all-time favorite. Snickers coffee blend. Love it from all the vendors I've tried. Love it. Love it. Love it. Hope I love it from K's. Um, it's usually described as a, is coffee with like a snicker bar kind of thrown in there. Let me see if I can find it. Snickers, coffee bread, or coffee blend. Yes. Yep. <laughs> same, same, um, Scent description. A wonderful blend of rich aromatic coffee blended with caramel peanuts and rich milk chocolate. It truly smells like a Snickers bar has been melted in your coffee cup. Now, this is nice. Um, what I'm noticing with K's is that I'm not getting huge cold throw. But as everyone knows, it's not. And they're 100% soy, so I'm a little surprised. But I will let these cure a little bit. I'm kind of, like I said, now I have two little stashes of K's. So... I'm kind of tempted to just chuck one in because <laughs> I haven't tried K's yet at all. Um, but oh, this smells so good! I'm catching I'm catching the coffee. I'm not so much catching the you know the chocolate or caramel or anything like that. But it's a really nice coffee blend. Um, I hope this one holds up to the other vendors that I've tried um, as far as that scent because I love that scent. This one is in. Toffee Pops, and Toffee Pops is described as buttery toffee and almonds combined, combined with brown sugar and sweet maple. This just sounds awesome to me. Oh, and it smells awesome. I love it when you can actually smell the almonds. Like, if, if someone says there's a nut in it, I really want to smell the nut um, note, the nut note. Oh, smells really good. It smells really, really good. I'm going to say, like, straight off, like I said, I don't know. She doesn't have on her labels. A lot of people put, this is what I would prefer people to do. This isn't just a, a case critique at all or anything like that. I would love if when they created their labels, if they just put the pour dates so that we knew if, okay, does, how long does it have to cure? Is this freshly cured? Has it been curing a while? That kind of thing. Um, just because it's really hard to tell, and especially for people who do reviews, you know, like, I hate to say, like, oh, yeah, this is nice, but it's not, like, really strong. 
You know what I mean? And then find out, oh, it was just poured. Like, well, okay, it's not going to be really strong if it's just poured. But I always let myself stuff cure. But this is really ni nice. Mostly I'm catching the almond and the, like, brown sugar maple. Oh, really nice. Toffee Pops. I like that. I like it. Tara, I like it. It's so fun. It's so cool that, to know that I have a wax, another wax addict in my state and close by, too. Um, this one I'm not so sure about. This is white chocolate truffle. And the reason I'm not so sure about it is because I'm not a white chocolate fan at all. If you've watched any of my other videos, not like all of them, but uh, let me see. White chocolate truffle is a creamy, a rich and creamy white chocolate truffle. Okay. <laughs> That's the description. Okay. That doesn't really tell me much. Um, I am not a white chocolate fan at all. I, when I, my grandmother was still alive, God rest her soul. <laughs> Every year she would say, oh, Chris, you, you, you like white chocolate, right? You're the one who likes the white chocolate, right? And I'm like, no, grandma, I hate it. I can't stand it. It would make me want to, the smell makes me want to vomit. Like, it smells like, like, it smells like just plain wax to me. And if you're going to be eating it, like, is that something you want to eat? No, I can't stand white chocolate. Oh, but this is really interesting. Because this does not smell like a white chocolate bunny at all. So that's good. I mean, it's still, if I had my pick between, you know, dark chocolate or white chocolate, it's definitely dark chocolate. But this is a really nice, I like this. I don't know if I would necessarily call this white chocolate at all, to be honest with you. Or maybe I just, I don't know. Maybe my nose is growing up and those childhood, awful childhood memories are going away. Because I would get the white chocolate every year. No matter how many times I told her, no, no, Graham, I hate white chocolate. I would be the one with the white chocolate bunny. She just couldn't seem to get it through her head. <laughs> so, um, so that was one bunny I didn't eat, but that's okay. Um, this one's in vanilla butter fudge, which sounds awesome. Anything with like fudge and, oh my God, in it or chocolate or what else, whatever. And this is send description, a rich, creamy, buttery vanilla fudge. Yum. <laughs> Some of these send descriptions crack me up. It's like, okay. That was quite obvious. Hmm. This is interesting. Um, white butter or vanilla butter fudge. Um, vanilla butter fudge. Like fudge. I know fudge isn't necessarily like you could get, um, uh, you know, maple walnut fudge, all that stuff. So it's not necessarily chocolate. I do smell a buttery note to this. This is interesting. I don't know. I don't know if I'm if I like this yet. I can't decide. It's interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan yet. I'll have to wait and see. Oh, this one sounds so good. This isn't a little flower. Unfortunately, these little flowers, creamy cranberry jam bread. Unfortunately, these little teeny flowers don't really do much for me. So I will have to like melt like two of these. Maybe I'll melt it with the orange sunshine one. I, it, it, oh, two may work in my warmer. One is not going to work in my warmer. They're just too small. Um, they're almost like kind of like tester scents. I'm not sure. But creamy cranberry jam bread sounds absolutely amazing. Um, creamy. Creamy, creamy, creamy. I know I look so like dumb just staring at this screen. Creamy. Oh, they have chocolate fudge too. I'm going to have to get that one. Chocolate mint truffle, chocolate romance, all these chocolates. What am I looking for? Oh, creamy. <laughs> creamy cranberry. Creamy cranberry jam bread. Our VCMA approved Kathy's cranberry jam is combined with our creamy zucchini okay okay i like this i was gonna say a creamy zucchini i was like nope because i'm not a huge zucchini fan but the creamy zucchini is described as a creamier and more mellow zucchini bread and this cranberry jam is just setting it off really nice i like this 
I'm getting a lot more of the cranberry than I am the zucchini. This is really good. I don't know if I'm catching any bread notes um, from this, but ooh, but this is nice. I like it. 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 Okay. Then she got me. Oh, good. I was looking at this one on the send description list. Very, very cornbread. I am cornbread anything. Like, I love cornbread. Come on. What the heck? Okay, anyway, this is very, very cornbread. There we go. Ugh, drives me nuts when my camera doesn't want to focus. Very, very cornbread is, this will be all the way down at the bottom. Ooh, warm wheat bread. That sounds good. Very, very cornbread. Our popular cornbread is mixed with very various berries. And this is really nice. I was just going to say, I hope I can catch the cornbread on here because, and that the, um, the berry didn't overwhelm it, and it doesn't. This is really nice. It, you can tell it's not a straight-up cornbread. I don't know what the berries are. It just has various. But it makes it like a sweeter cornbread. Oh, this is nice. Instead of that, like, buttery cornbread. I love cornbread. I love it. I love it. I love it. I indulge in cornbread every once in a while, even though I try not to eat bread and stuff like that. But I try to eat healthy, but every once in a while. Oh, yay. I wanted this one. Okay. This is chocolate romance. Um, again, like these scallops look like they're like one ounce, one ounce scallops. So I don't know. I'm hoping that they will melt in my 14 watt LED party light warmer because, and give me a good throw because these are not big enough for my, um, what you call it? My other warmers. Chocolate romance. I gotta go back to the seas. Sorry guys. Um, Chocolate romance is described as special blend of dark chocolate, hints of pink, pink sugar, and more. Now, I love anything dark ch chocolate. I'm not a pink sugar fan. Ooh, but this is really good. Oh, the pink sugar is not overwhelming at all. I can smell the dark chocolate. This combination is really good. It's different. So if you want something different, this chocolate romance, oh my god, it's really good. I wonder what the Anne Moore is. But it's just simply intoxicating. It really is. I like this a lot. Ooh. Maybe a loaf in this? I don't know. I gotta get myself like a chocolate loaf. Okay, this one is in Blissful Morning, and that is described as, they have one called Bromance, that's funny, um, Blissful Morning, Coffee, Cookies, and Pure Bliss, what a wonderful treat to wake up to, um, let me see what Pure Bliss is, because we know what coffee and cookies smell like, um, of course it's on the other page. Pure Bliss, because I've, I've heard this, I've been hearing this a lot lately. Pure Bliss. Um, if you love our, oh, that's Pink Bliss. Where's Pure Bliss? Pure Bliss. A signature blend. Hints of pink sugar are blended with various vanilla oils to create an ooey gooey goodness that is sure to please. So it's kind of a pink sugar vanilla um, and then coffee and cookies. So we'll see. Okay. I don't know if I like this one. What is this again? Blissful morning. I'm not sure if I'm liking this one. Which is really weird because the, the three of them together, I mean, it sound, they sound good. You think pink sugar, vanilla, coffee, like, okay, good. But it's giving me almost a... Well, it's giving me an artificial smell, but it's also giving me like a, it almost smells like pine when I first put my nose in it, like, and obviously there's not pine in it, but when you combine all these, 
I don't know. I'll have to sit on this one too. This full morning. I don't know for sure if that's for me or not. Um, let me see. How many other keys do I have? I have a couple more because she threw in some extras. Here's one in chocolate fudge. You can't go wrong with chocolate fudge. And I'm not even going to describe it because everyone knows what chocolate fudge smells like. This is nice. This is good. This is nice. Oh my god. I love my chocolate scents. Now, this again, it's smelling a little... I don't know if Kay's chocolate is like a favorite to me. It's smelling a little artificial. Um, Kind of like the, the chocolate syrup. But this is chocolate fudge. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's def definitely chocolate. But again, I'd have to melt it. I'm just trying to look to see if there's any special, no, rich creamy fudge scent. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I love the chocolate romance. The other one, like I said, I'm not so sure about. I'm sorry, you guys. It's my phone going off. Um, it, Like I said, it smells a little artificial. I'm just trying to see. There's so much at the bottom of this bag here. Just when I think it's ending, it's not. I want it, Okay, I wanted to get out the... All of the case because you do some some extras in. Okay, next is Loopy cornbread. Which did she give me one of those? Or, no, she gave me something else cornbread. What what was the other cornbread she gave me? She gave me very berry cornbread, and now this is Loopy cornbread. So this like would probably be a Fruit Loop cornbread. Yeah, and uh, Fruit Loops is really, it's it's really overpowering. Any of the cereal tricks, Fruit Loops, all those those scents are really overpowering. So I'm not catching much of the cornbread in this. So her loopies are very, very loopy. The Fruit Loop um, scent, I like it because I, I do love the cereal scents, but I don't know if I'm catching a lot of the cornbread in there. This is Puckered, Puckered Bliss. I find that name funny. Um, <laughs> so the Pure Bliss again was the, um, what you call it? This, the, oh, you guys know, I just said it. Pink sugar and vanillas. Um, so Puckered Bliss is... Uh, let me see. Puckered Bliss. Pure Bliss, which is the pink sugar and the vanillas, combined with lemon for a sweet lemon scent. And I like this one. Um, this almost smells like a Fruit Loop, too, but it's um, a... What you call it? A, a lighter Fruit Loop. Not as strong. It's nice. And I can definitely catch the vanillas in here too, which is really cool. Because it gives it almost more of a bakery kind of smell. Um, here we have cocoa cornbread. I remember I read these lists and I was like, yes, 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 yes. So this is cornbread with cocoa in it. Hmm. This is interesting too. I don't know. I... I I catch the cornbread and I love the cornbreads, her cornbreads. I'm not so sure about her chocolates from Kay's. I don't think I like the chocolates. They smell artificial to me. Ugh. I don't know. Um, next is Squirrely Nut. 
and that is described as a nice blend of walnuts and pecans with hints of butter and vanilla. Now this one I'm not getting, I'm not smelling nuts. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds funny. I'm, I'm just not smelling the nutty um, part of this. I'm smelling mostly vanilla with hints of butter and I wish it was nuttier. But again, let it cure, let it cure, let it cure. This is Cafe, Cafe Brulee bread. Oh my God, I like, I love all the scent descriptions. Just, and I'm just a little disappointed, I think, by the chocolates. I'll have to melt them before I actually know for sure if I will place a big order from K's with the chocolates because I'm a huge chocolate person. If you, the more chocolates you have on your site, the more I'm unlikely to purchase. But I'm glad that I got these. These stashes are always good for this reason. I'm glad that I got these because, you know, then you know, oh, God, I love their chocolate, this vendor's chocolate, or I don't like this vendor's chocolate. You know what I mean? Um, so cafe, oh, brulee cream. She doesn't have, have it on here. Okay. She has cafe brulee bread. <laughs> this smells like a creamy coffee, which is nice. It smells like a creamy coffee, basically. Um, there's some hint in it that, I, that I'm not so sure about. I don't really know. But I'm not catching bread, really. Maybe that, that's what maybe that's what it was, was the bread. Now this is a cute little tart. You gotta see you gotta see this. It's so cute. I don't know if it's gonna pick up. But it looks like it's got a little strawberry on the top and it's full of glitter, which we all know I love glitter. But this isn't pure strawberries. This is just an absolute pure strawberry scent. This little tart is cute, though. Um, this smells to me more like a strawberry jam than a, or a strawberry syrup. That's what it smells to me like, more like a strawberry syrup than a fresh picked strawberry. So I don't know if it is described as a fresh picked strawberry or not. And maybe when I melt it, of course, you know, it'll smell different. Yeah, it smells like freshly picked strawberries. I don't, I don't, I don't really get freshly picked. It's definitely a strawberry scent. It's, it's not too strong, but it, it smells kind of syrupy to me. But, again, we shall see. So, that was my K's pile. And then she threw in... Some Happy Hippie. Thank you, Tara, for the extras. Um, this is in sugar cookie dough bread. Now, I love any, I like breads. I'm not usually like sugar or anything. This is nice. You know what it kind of reminds me of is Irish, um, ice, ice cream scoop bread. Kind of like along the same lines. Um, this would be a nice mixer. I don't know if I would melt this on its own. It's not a big, on its own person, on its own scent for me, I don't think. But this would be a nice mixer. But aren't these cute little cows? Can you see that? Happy Hippie now has little cows. So cute. Um, Here's a cow. His head broke off. <laughs> I, a lot of these molds are so cute, but they just don't hold up well. This is in fluffy, marshy, and hot chocolate. So I'm assuming it's marshmallow and hot chocolate. Which I love, 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 love. I don't know if Tara's not a chocolate person. And that's why she had this D-stash. I will have to ask her. Or she will see my video and let me know. This is really nice, too. Um, again, the chocolate, I don't know. It's hard because I've had a few vendors that the chocolate is spot on. No artificial smell whatsoever. I don't know... This smells very nice. Um, I don't know if it's a toasted marshmallow or the marshmallow smell that's making it smell a little artificially only because, you know, it's making it, it's got that little sweeter kind of smell. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. Oh, 
I, I like I said, I love chocolate though. I can't wait to start melting these. Um, here is from Ava's Country Cupboard. I have never, I don't think I have any Ava's, to be honest with you. I really don't think I have any. If I do, I may have one piece. But this is a cute little loaf. Um, oh, this was poured on, see, this is what I like, guys. Poured on 7, 8, 13. Love it. I love it. So you know this is cured. You're all set to go. I love it when vendors do that. I'm sorry. I just do. And this is an autumn wreath. Now, I like this. This is, um, I don't know specifically what, I'm not going to go to Ava's and check it out, but I don't know specifically what the scent description is. If anybody knows Ava's Country Cupboard, Autumn Wreath. If you know specifically what Autumn Wreath smells like, please, or you have the scent description, if you could post it below, that'd be awesome. This is kind of like, I'm smelling like apple and like woodsy leaves kind of smell. It smells nice. I like it. Almost like a cidery le leaves, autumn. It just, it just smells nice. Not heavy on cinnamon whatsoever, which is awesome for me because I do not like cinnamon, but this is such a cute loaf. And like I said, love it. Love it when people do that. I mean, even if you don't have a spe spe specific sticker to put on there, even if you just write on it, you know, the date. I love it. Um, now these I use, tend to use in my bathroom, but I tend to use two. She gave me two of these. These are Orchid Lake Candles and Soaps. Um, these are 0.8 ounces. I really see no purpose for these whatsoever. Wild, very smoothie. I know, um, one vendor was telling me that a lot of people like to use them in their tea light warmers. Okay. I don't have them. I don't, I don't use tea light warmers, but this really doesn't even, it's not even an ounce. It doesn't do much for me. Um, maybe in my Scentsy warmer in my kitchen. It's got a, it's got a low bulb. I mean, a shallow bulb, bowl, bulb. This is very, what is it? Wild berry smoothie. This smells nice. Kind of smells like a berry slushy. Mm, I like that. And it's not cherry, so that's good. And this one is in Nana's coffee cake. So. Tara really hooked me up with the coffees and the chocolates. I love you, Tara, darling. We, like I said, we still got to get together. Um, okay, I'm not. I'm smelling nothing. I smell wax. That's all I smell. So that's all I smell. Anyway, and the family's home, so that's the end of this video. So thank you, Tara, very much. I will let everybody know in the What I've Been Melting videos how um, Kay's chocolate comes around. Um, if I like it, if I don't like it, if I'm a fan or not a fan. And thank you for the extras, Tara. And we will get together soon. Great stash. Thank you.